This tutorial is going to cover how to do camera moves in TV Paint. I'm going to show you several different ways to accomplish a camera move and in this case I'm just going to be using uh, a single background um, to demonstrate that. So let's start with the simplest move. Uh, we've got just a single background image here and I'm going to right click on that and set the exposure value and I'm going to set it to 120 frames which is five seconds of screen time. So now you can see it's held along the timeline for 120 frames. So our, our move will be five seconds. Now the simplest way is to use the camera tool in the main tool panel and you can see that's uh, this green bounding box and you can set that camera tool anywhere obviously though you need to go in closer or uh, make it a smaller area so you don't go outside the, the boundaries of the background but you could set it anywhere within your background so let me reset that to the center and I will probably put my start move in a little bit and shift down so that is my starting composition now if I click anywhere else in the interface I get a second camera field and for that one I'm going to zoom it in and so imagine in this scene we're zooming in to a closer view of the chair of either a character or an object sitting there and so this is what it would look like uh, you can sort of preview the move if you just scrub along the timeline you can see the camera moving in and now I'll play it back and that's what it looks like now and it may it may not be playing back smoothly in the uh, screen capture software that I'm using but if you look at the original source file it uh, is a smooth camera move zooming in now you'd want to refine it a little bit more than that usually this is a very evenly spaced move every uh, increment is this exactly the same as it's moving in so to do that let's click on the time profile double click that to bring it up and I would usually just drag it out so you can see it like that and watch the red line that's the frame so right now I'm at frame 31 so that shows you where you are in time during the camera move so at frame 90 that this is where the camera is right now and then by the time it gets to the end at a frame 120 that's the end of the move so what I'd probably want to do is put in a little bit of a slow in and a slow out at the end of this move so I'm going to switch it over to spline mode which now gives me a little curve to the move so it uh, will hold at the beginning slow in move and slow out at the end so let's play that back I'm not sure if you can see it in this uh, screen capture but it, it's a subtle move it's a subtlety to uh, just just make it a little less abrupt at the start and stop of the move so you would do that for most moves you can adjust these curves uh, so if you wanted to have a very brief slow in at the start and then a much longer slow in at the end so it, it uh, pull that down, maybe put another point right there. So now that's going to look different. It's going to accelerate in the middle and then very slow at the end. The same thing at the beginning. You could take more time to get started. A little less at the end. It depends on what you want. It depends on the need of the shot. You know, what should the move feel like? So when you're done with that, you've got the move. Uh, you probably would want to save it. So you go to the bin, save profile, and you could name it whatever it is. If it's uh, scene 10 in your movie, it could be scene 10, uh, camera move 1. 
something that will identify it later on so that you can save it. You can also save it here in the bin, uh, add to bin, and call it uh, scene 10 camera 1. So then you can always find it again uh, by going to the bin. There's, you can see there's some preset camera moves in there, and there's our camera move that we just saved. Okay, so that's the uh, simple way to do a camera move.